Yes, welcome to the Player Supreme Show, and I'm going to show you guys something before I put this show up, because I don't want you guys to think I'm tying into the Aubrey show, but I want you to look at the construction date of this particular post called Funny Papers. If it'll come up, hold on one second, and let me click here, and now go here, there. It says 12-10-2009-952 p.m., 2.5 megabytes. Files, funny papers. I did the show a couple of days ago. Now I just put up a show on Aubrey, and that says uh, 12 12 209 11 32 a.m. It's when I actually uh, created the file with my Camtasia. Uh, Title file 9.53 megabytes, although I had to put it through my uh, Windows Media and redo it, and it probably lost a lot of quality, but. Uh, uh, it went up in file size also when I uploaded it. But I'm going to put these two files together. Not this file, but uh, the show that I'm doing right now, along with this file, and create one file, and then upload it to uh, YouTube to show that I'm not trying to go after English people, because the person in this story happens to be from London all, London also. So I, that's why I'm doing this uh, little pre-video here show you. I did the show a couple of days ago before this this creep even crawled out the woodworks. Yeah, welcome to the Player Supreme show and I went back to my funny papers because I just need a good laugh this evening. And right off the bat I see something that looked like it might be kind of funny. Uh, it says I know my kind is rare around these parts and I'm kind of wondering what his kind is. Let's see what he has to say. New chick checking in. Oh, so a girl is checking in to a forum where guys are trying to learn to seduce women. You see that type all the time. Somehow they're trying to figure out some player they're dating, so they figure they can come here and get some ideas. When common sense would tell them, okay, if you're a girl dating a player, you don't mean shit to him, but a piece of ass. Wake the fuck up and walk the fuck out. Next, uh, how do you get close to a girl who doesn't let people get close to her? Okay, well, my question is, why would you want to get close to a girl who doesn't let people close to her? Why would you want to invest that much time in a female who doesn't want anybody close to her? She obviously ain't choosing them. If she was choosing them, she would give them a signal. But why would you want to pursue a female that don't want you close to her? Well, he's fellow here says, got rejected. I said no to let's be friend. Girls is devastated now. Good for you. Dancing with girls at the club. I'm afraid to open that one. Reinvite a girl. Within the year winding down, post your favorite 2009 DJ memory. So I definitely want to open those up because that would be like a hell right there on earth. Is it okay that her interest level is increasing slowly or is that my failure as a DJ I hate looking at myself in the mirror well I certainly want to look at you if you hate looking at yourself you must be pretty goddamn ugly attraction I'm going pariah herpes and LTR I don't know what that's all about I'm afraid to look there do eyes tell it all hmm the flaw of my game, being sexual. The no contact challenge. If you read this, read this if you just got dumped. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't read that one. What do you say after you said hello? Uh, how are you? That's what I would say. How are you feeling today? Or how are you doing today if you don't want to get into the feeling stuff? Eh. HB has unfinished business. How to proceed? Well, he's obviously chasing the wrong girl. Fear of contacting her on the phone. Any tips? Yeah, get her life story. It's that easy. Conversing with shy women. Get her life story. It's that easy. I keep waking up at night. Well, keep going back to sleep. Duh. STD from a long-term girlfriend. Dump the bitch. Would you write this one off or move on? If you got to ask about it, move on. 
Now, what do I do? Well, you know, if you don't know, can't nobody help you know. A lot of guys beg for advice on how to handle their own lives. What kind of stupid shit is that? It's your life. You decide how you want to handle your life. The secrets to DJ revealed. Well, this board has been around for a long time. Ain't no secrets come out of that board. Same heads still struggling. Oh, look. Meta game. Whoa. How should I have handled this one? A backpack. The perfect wingman. Okay, well, why don't you get a... Uh, how about a... A soccer ball and call it Harry and put a face on it and carry that around. The concise art of seduction or art of seduction. Concise art of seduction or the art of seduction. Art of seduction or the art of seduction. Art of seduction or the art of seduction. That's a big difference right there. How many of you guys feel that? Want to ask this girl out tomorrow, possibly. How to find the right balance in the LTR? Well, I'm for the old school. It's my way or the highway. Noob journal. No more messing around. Boot camp. Two tests in a row, I think. Am I right? Winter boot camp. How would you react to your girl kissing the guy? Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Here we go. All right, Sparky. Must be Trevor. TRV. Ah, London. And Trevor is writing. I say the chaps. Say a guy tries to kiss your girl, and she kisses him back. Should this immediately lead to a breakup? My question is, does a kiss show there is something seriously wrong with the relationship? Huh? Okay. Hold the horses here. This guy's girl kissed another male. Another guy with a dick. And he is asking, is there something seriously wrong with the relationship? Obviously, if he's the kind of guy that's got to ask that, that's why the bitch is kissing another man. I think Trevor needs my, he needs 14. 14 inches of my steel-toed jackboot up his ass to make his balls drop down. He writes, or is it sometime possible to simply get carried away in the moment? Oh, uh, my God. Okay, I know the English are very cultured and very pristine. But to be this pussified and total lacking in balls from the race that produced the new cool bomb that I like? Uh-uh. Finally, he says, if she were to really regret what happened, would you be willing to forgive it once, or would that be taken as a sign of weakness? Edit more information in a further post below. Well, okay, Here, here's my thing. If my current girlfriend kissed another man, there ain't no excuse. I don't give a fuck what she says. There ain't no fucking excuse. I don't give a fuck if you're just dead, dead boned ass drunk. You still know what you're doing. I've been drunk before. I knew exactly what I was doing. A lot of people try to use that as a fucking excuse. That ain't no goddamn excuse. She kissed another man because Trevor's game is weak. Trevor has no balls. See Trevor walk with no balls. There goes Trevor sidling down the street 